This is the eighth OHI Day dinner that I've been at, and I really want to congratulate Andy and Mike for creating this annual institution, which is such an extraordinary inspiration for people around the world. I, never in my life has it been more important to affirm the values of freedom in Pelissima. It's my privilege tonight, and I want to thank Andy and Mike for giving the Ohi Day Courage Award to Lu Sha, a Chinese poet and photographer and a woman of unparalleled moral courage. I had the rare pri privilege of meeting Lu Sha last month in New York when we were both there to take part in the presentation to the Chinese writer Liao Yi Wu of an award named after the great Czech president and playwright Václav Havel. Lucia was indirectly connected to Havel through her husband, Lu Xiaobo, who, like Havel, was a public intellectual and a political dissident of global stature. When Lu Xiaobo was arrested in 2009 for being the lead author of Charter 08, a manifesto for democracy and constitutional government in China that was inspired by Havel's Charter 77 in Czechoslovakia. It was Havel at that time who led the campaign to award Lu Xiaobo the Nobel Peace Prize, which Lu received in 2010. Lu Xiaobo was in prison. Lu Xiaobo was in prison when the Nobel ceremony was held in Oslo. And in place of his Nobel address, the Swedish actress Liv Ullman read Lou's closing statement at his trial in December of 2009, at which he decried the enemy mentality of the regime that poisoned the spirit of China and declared that, and I quote, there is no force that can put an end to the human quest for freedom. The most moving part of Liu's statement, which Li Woolman read, was his impassioned expression of love for Liu Xia, his wife, whose own love, he said, is the sunlight that leaps over high walls and penetrates the iron bars of my prison window, allowing me always to keep peace, openness, and brightness in my heart, and filling every minute of my time in prison with meaning. Even if I were crushed into powder, Lou said, I would still use my ashes to embrace you. Lou Shaw was under house arrest during the Nobel ceremony, and she remained isolated and confined for eight years, despite insistent calls for her release by world leaders, human rights organizations, and the US Congress, and even after Lu Xiaobo died in prison in July of 2017. She suffered severe depression during these years and was in extremely fragile condition when she was finally allowed to leave China last July and take refuge in Germany. She is still recovering, which is why she is not with us this evening. But during these years, she became world famous, not just as a prisoner and the wife of Lu Xiaobo, but also as a poet 
and a photographer. The few, visitors, the few visitors that she was allowed to receive smuggled to the West 26 of her, of her stunningly original photographs of dolls, which she called ugly babies because they symbolized the denial of free expression to her husband and to the people of China more generally. These photographs were organized under the gallery name, The Silent Strength of Lu Xia. And they were exhibited during her house arrest in cities across the world, including Paris, New York, Hong Kong, Taipei, Berlin, and Madrid. The dolls have been called Warriors for Freedom. And that is what Lu Xia is, a warrior for freedom who has suffered greatly for the humane ideals that bound her together in life and in death with her beloved husband, Lu Xiaobo. In the video that you shall now see of Lu Xia accepting the Ohi Courage Award last month in New York, she graces us all by reading her hauntingly beautiful poem, Silent Strength, which gave the name to the photo exhibit and which powerfully affirms that, in fact, there is no force that can put an end to the human quest for freedom. So let us now see this important video. Thank you. <laughs> 